Hi everyone, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be teaching us on why you should not lose the word of God in your life. This video will bless you powerfully. Prepare to be blessed by this video production. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and God bless you. In ancient times, when fathers wanted to bless their children, they didn't bless them with physical things. They would, those they gave physical things to were those who they did not consider important. So they would say, okay, take this, take that. Then they'll call the sons inside and say, look, if I give you physical things, I'm a wicked father. I give you something, go. The person will go and return back with cattle, return back with plenty. The word of God. Everything that must appear in your life. I'm standing in the name of Jesus and I'm speaking to you. Everything that you need for your spiritual life, for your finances, you have prayed, you have done all you know to do. I stand in the name of Jesus, whose I am and who sent me here. I declare some of you, even before tomorrow, may it appear in your life. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. There are four things, four dimensions of power that are contained in the word of God. The word of God is powerful, but there are four dimensions of power at least contained in the word of God. Are you ready, please? We may just have one and then we'll pray. Is God blessing us tonight? The first dimension of power that is contained in the word of God is the power to create. Hebrews 11 verse 3 To create from the earth's definition means to make something out of nothing. To create from the realm of the spirit means to transport realities and make them manifest here. The creative power of God's word. Hebrews 11 verse 3 Through faith we understand that the walls were framed that means they had their physical expression by the word of God so that the things which were not made which were made seen were not made of things which do appear that means the raw material of the things we see today they came from the realm of the spirit the word of God has power to create John chapter 1 and verse 3 John chapter 1 verse 3 we have looked at the word of what the word of God is now we are looking at the dimensions of power there are four dimensions of power contained in the word of God number one is the power to create John 1 3 all things someone say all things one more time please shout it say all things all things your finance is part of all things Listen to me. Your family is part of all things. Anything the word of God cannot make, cannot be made. Anything the word of God cannot make, cannot be made. The Bible says all things were made by him. And without him, without him means outside of his influence, was not anything made that was made. So when they look at you and say, how did you rise? You know the answer. The word of God there is the lifting power of his word listen to me in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I speak to someone here the things that your destiny needs that have not yet manifested by the power of the word I decree and declare may you see them begin to appear in your life listen now the word of God can create it can make what has no business happening in your life to happen. Saul had no business becoming a prophet. 
Saul had no business receiving bread from visitors but a word came from God through a prophet you will be on your way going you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they bought that bread to go home with it but because a word is upon your life they will bow to you and give you the word of God can create listen strip every man of anything he has his houses cars everything but give him the word of God and say go that man did not lose as he's going from all over the earth whatever his destiny needs the word of God like a magnet you don't pick needles one by one that's too laborious find a powerful magnet pass it on the ground everything that is magnetic must follow it that's what happens to you when the word of God is upon your life thank you when the word of God is upon your life immediately listen carefully everything at all that should be for life and godliness so this is how it starts come can I use you my brother watch this this gentleman may have come from a family with no advantage a family with no lifting can anything good come out of this family then he sits down and as the word of God is coming he does not even know what is happening to him as he begins to move favor meets him on the way lifting meets him on the way destiny help us meet him on the way three years of sitting with the word he turns back and we say where did you get them from the word of God brought them looking for those things by themselves will be a journey of frustration one thing is needful matter matter you are worried and offended by this one thing is needful if you can sit at the master's table the word of God exhibits magnetic properties it's on you and while you are roaming around find a way of believing what I have to say is true the word of god can change you in ancient times when fathers wanted to bless their children they didn't bless them with physical things they would those they gave physical things to were those who they did not consider important so they'll say okay take this take that then they'll call the sons inside and say look if i give you physical things i'm a wicked father i give you something go the person will go and return back with cattle return back with plenty the word of God everything that must appear in your life I'm standing in the name of Jesus and I'm speaking to you everything that you need for your spiritual life for your finances you have prayed you have done all you know to do I stand in the name of Jesus whose I am and who sent me here I declare some of you even before tomorrow may it appear in your life please sit down let's round up Colossians 1 16 that would be our final scripture for tonight please do not miss any of the sessions I'll be showing you what the power of God contains the dimensions of power and then we're going to be praying hopefully before the session maybe the final session we'll have the opportunity to pray for the sick speak over our lives and impart graces an impartation is a transference of possibilities it's part of the apostolic ministry that every time God grants a privilege to come across a region by the election of grace there will be a deposit of divine realities so that men within the territory in greater levels will be on fire manifesting possibilities that will bring glory to the name of the Lord Colossians 1 16 please read with me everyone ready read one to read for by him were all things created 
that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible whether they be mm -hmm, dominions principalities all things the creative power all things all things all things favor all things lifting all things supernatural manifestation all things let me tell you this if god decides that i'm creating a brand new possibility for you he can use anything even stones anything you sat here tonight learning the ways of God first finding your passion to know God the more for some of you more than the teaching tonight the Lord is cultivating in you a hunger for spiritual things so that you will begin to love him and you will begin to cry some of you will go back after this conference and you say Lord reveal yourself again to me I'm tired of playing religion I'm tired of just writing my exams by myself and marking the script there is only there is so much i need to know it's a holy provocation don't fight it it's challenging you those who bear fruit he prunes so that they will bear more fruit because hear me there are many destinies that are connected to you as you are listening to me and if you stop at this level there are destinies that will be destroyed so more than what you are hearing you must go back fight the spirit that has killed your prayer life fight the spirit that has killed your word life some of you your passion for the word here and there you may just watch a 10 minutes video on youtube go back now with a renewed passion i now see what the devil has been fighting my authority in the kingdom because it is through knowledge the just shall del be delivered we rise up in this kingdom by revelation please rise up on your feet in one minute i'd like you to just pray in the spirit and cry asking the lord for grace please just help those under the anointing we are wrapping up already for the night help them please help them whether you're an usher or not let someone just help them are you praying someone pray you came for a conference you don't have to bring them out just help them so they don't injure themselves please pray prayer fire word fire afresh oh god upon my life is someone praying Prayer fire, word fire. Hallelujah. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.